What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than usual. I am usually fishing on a kayak or fishing in my bass boat or uh, camping or stuff like that. But today's video, I'm in the garage, it's super hot outside. I really don't wanna be on a boat today. But I've got a project that I've been meaning to do lately and I figured I'd share it with you guys. Uh, maybe it'll help one of y'all out. So when we do fish fries and you know gumbo cooks and stuff in the backyard here at home, uh, we usually do it with stuff like this. We've got a, I bought my wife this little burner from Academy and we hook it up to a main tank, but I don't really have any way of hauling it around and it's really low to the ground. So I've been, I've got a pile of wood here at the house and I've been wanting to build something to keep it up off the ground and maybe with a platform beside it, maybe some wheels. I did go to Harbor Freight and Harbor Freight has these nice 10 inch aired up wheels and these things are four dollars a piece 3.99 you can get these wheels for 3.99 so i bought four of them i figured maybe i could incorporate them somehow on the front side so we can if i build something like a table style we can pick up one end and wheel it around and you know use it on the back patio and stuff like that so anyway i don't have any plans for today's build so i'm just going to kind of wing it so if you're interested in this type of stuff stick around I'm gonna prop the camera up and we're just gonna see what the outcome looks like. Stick around.
guys. What do y'all think? Uh, like I said at the beginning, I didn't have any plans to go off of. I just had some scrap wood laying here. The big planks that you've seen me use in the video, uh, these are just from a privacy fence that I just put up in the backyard. I got a stack of those left over from putting the fence up. I grabbed those. Uh, just used a lot of stuff laying around. The 10 inch wheels from Harbor Freight for four bucks a piece, those things work out great. This thing rolls like butter and it's really heavy, so I wanted the wheels. Uh, the only bad thing is, you know, I did add a handle because to steer it, you know, you got to pick it up and move it around. So, but the wheels just make it great. I can't wait to push it to our back patio so we can do some fish fries and some gumbo fries and stuff like that right outside on the back porch. Uh, a few extra things I added. This is a magnet. I also got it from Harbor Freight so we can just stick some knives on there. I just stuck these on here to show you guys. And something that you've seen me use this pipe and these little handrails here. These are actually off of my Skeeter Bass Boat. Uh, they had, I got an old 90s model, and they all had those handrails down the side. Well, I took mine off a while back, and they just been laying around here, and it turned out really good for the handle. I'll give you guys a walkthrough in just a second, but I'm happy with it. I think it's gonna do really good. It's, it's really solid. Uh, I got to use that burn technique for the first time on this, this pine two by four. And that burn, I love it. It looks really good. You've seen me, I burn it really good, and then I went back and sanded it. And it's really slick now, and it's got a really good look. Uh, I'll probably maybe put some Thompson water seal on it, but it's going to be under a covered back porch most of the time, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, you've seen me use the metal tape right here on the inside. I covered all of the exposed wood that's going to be near the flame. All of that's covered in metal... Uh, duct tape that you use to you know tape up your vents and stuff on your house you can get that at Home Depot or Lowe's too so I think I built this whole thing the lumber and all if you was just go out and buy it you know minus the, the little handrails that I use from my boat you could probably build this whole thing for about 40 or 50 dollars uh, you know minus the I think we paid 30 dollars for the actual fryer at Academy but it turned out pretty good I'll give you guys a walkthrough real quick so you can see down here, I used the old fence planking for the bottom. It turned out real good. I love the way it looks, just the rustic style. And I added a couple of hooks here that I just had in my drawer. We got, I got some tongs hanging up here and a spatula hanging up on the other side. And then I added, like I said, the Skeeter poles, handrails. I just cut them down and made, my, made us a little towel holder. There's the magnet. It's just a little cheap 5 or $6 magnet from Harbor Freight. And I had this old... Uh, Royal Crown Cola bottle opener in my garage. I've had it hanging on my bench forever, but I decided to stick it on here. And there's a closer look at the wheels. And I just bolted them on like you've seen. I just had some, uh, I think they're quarter 20 bolts. Uh, I think maybe four or five inches long. And they just bolt right up to the side of it. Here's the handrail on the other side. And I cut up one of the Skeeter handrails to make this and that side piece over there. So it gives you a good handle. Here's the inside. You can see all the aluminum tape. I covered all of the wood that's gonna be, you know, exposed to the, the flame while it's burning. Got it all covered real good. I love the way this top turned out. Look at that. I, I just brought this stuff out here to set it and see, see how good it would look with it all on there. And I just got a cutting board I brought, but look at that. There's no clear coat or nothing on it yet. But I, I love that burnt wood look. It turned out really good. And it rolls really easy. And there's where the tank's mounted there. And then I just, you see me, I built the frame so it would hold the basket. I might even add some cup holders this thing later. And I didn't burn the whole bottom. I just burnt the top cap. I thought it would look better with just the top burn instead of trying to, you know, do the burn technique to the whole thing. Makes it pop a little bit. So I know this is a strange video to be adding to my channel, but like I said, it is. it was almost 100 degrees today. Uh, I really don't like being out on the boat or the kayak when there's just bluebird sky and just boiling heat. It was hot enough in here. It's hot in here right now as it is. I don't have an AC in my garage, so... Most of the filming you've seen, I probably have music playing over, you know, the build and stuff like that. It's because all the garage doors were open, the traffic was going, I had a fan going, so I figured it'd be better to, to film it that way than trying to yell at the camera and explain what I was doing. And to be honest, I really didn't know what I was doing. I just built it as I went, so 
I, I'm going to be back on the fishing routine. Uh, we've actually got a hiking trip coming up to a lake up on uh, Chiha Mountain this weekend. I plan to film that whole uh, sleepover. We're going to do one night in hammocks up there. It's going to be pretty fun. I'm going to film that for you guys. And yeah, like I said, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.